Our top story tonight, the Wisconsin Department of Health Services is investigating the death of a Milwaukee man. Thank you for joining us. I'm Natalie Shepard. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. We appreciate you being there. A beloved Milwaukee principal and Buck security guard, Keith Carrington, died in August while recovering from surgery at Ascension's Columbia St. Mary's Hospital. CBS 58's Gabriela Becerra spoke with his widow, who's questioning if her husband's death was caused by a lapse in care. Keith Carrington's widow tells me her husband's death was unexpected and possibly preventable. She believes if he was admitted into a hospital other than Columbia St. Mary's, he'd still be alive today. Keith was just an extraordinary guy. Keith Carrington was admitted to Ascension Columbia St. Mary's Hospital in August for foot surgery. Keith's widow, Tanzanite Carrington, tells me the surgery went well, but there appeared to be red flags in his post-op care, causing parts of her husband's treatment to be overlooked. And he was just really frustrated. He was like, I can't seem to get anything right. On the day Keith died, Tanzanique says he felt a fever coming on, but otherwise appeared to be recovering well. Out of nowhere, Keith's heart stopped, and doctors cited the cause as septic shock. I believe that my husband paid the ultimate price, um, which was his life in his visit to Columbia St. Mary's. Tanzanique filed a complaint to the Wisconsin Department of Health Services last Wednesday, citing all of the concerns she shared with us. Two days later, she was told they initiated an investigation. It kind of validated my feeling that something was off. Ascension employees have expressed concerns, accusing the company of cutting services and staffing to fund private interests. All of this caught Senator Tammy Baldwin's attention. She's demanding answers from the Ascension CEO. When you're a nonprofit, you get tax exempt status. But if your activities um, are more uh, parallel to what a for profit entity is doing, you shouldn't enjoy that tax exempt, exempt status. An Ascension Wisconsin spokesperson sent me a statement that did not address specific issues. It said in part, Ascension is proud of its mission to provide care for those most vulnerable, and they look forward to continuing to work with Senator Baldwin on ways to serve the community. Tanzanique says she knows the investigation won't bring Keith back, but hopes Ascension will reevaluate its policies and patient care. Ascension needs to be held accountable for what's happening at their facilities. Reporting in Milwaukee, Gabriela Bacara, CBS 58 News.